Hi everybody, um, I thought I'd make a video and demonstrate how I do these bullion loops here. They're not conventional, they might be conventional bullion knots, but I... There are conventional bullion knots that lie flat. These are like little loopy things um, and I love them. So I'm going to put some along here and I'm not going to do the whole row with you obviously because we'd be here forever. The thing I've got to be careful of is I've got ribbon threaded through there and I don't want to catch the ribbon so maybe I should take that out so I'll just remove that bit of ribbon I can put that back in later because that would be a nightmare wouldn't it so I always nearly always 100% of the time use an embroidery hoop um, now I'm conscious with beads and things that can get caught in the side of the hoop but you've just got to go for it and I can damp stretch this anyway, which would get rid of any wrinkles, etc. that are caused by the hoop. Now for a bullion knot, I've already threaded my needle, very organised. You use a Milner's needle or a straw needle. And the thing about a Milner's or a straw needle is that it's the same width at that end where they thread as the point. And that's because you're going to be wrap, uh, sorry, pulling the needle through a lot of wraps, so it needs to pull through easily. They are doable with another needle. Um, but they're really, really tricky. It's really not the easiest. If you ask somebody who's done one of my classes, they will confirm that. So, you come up at A. Okay, now remember, this is for the little loopy ones that I do. You go down at B. Now, because this is layered, I don't really have to go through to the back. As long as I catch the top layer, because there is an action that when I finish this will take it through to the back to secure it through all the layers. Okay, I'll make that'll make sense in a minute. So I'm just gonna go. So that's A where I came up. B, I'm gonna do it a smidgen. Like less than a quarter of an inch away. Okay. We get back up through A. That's a bit thick. I might have gone through my knots. Just give me a sec. That's better, I think. Okay, and then I just put my thumb under the needle like that and I wrap it 35 times. Um, now, if you're brave enough, you can wrap it more than 35 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Push them down as you do it. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, so they're all on the needle now. So you leave, this is your working thread, leave it to the side, get the point of your needle and pull your needle through. And what's happening there is your working thread and believe me, this always happens. Your working thread is passing through all the wraps that you've just done, forming a core in those wraps. Okay, now sometimes I get told off for doing demonstrations white on white because it's hard for people to see. But I'm looking in the viewer and I can see that you can see that. So then what I was talking about, about it going back through, so then you take your needle back through all your layers. So this is useful to know if you've got more than one layer of fabric. I've got the back layer, this little edge of a sleeve that's slipped in there, and I've got a hemmed piece of silk have a tie on the top. So there's probably one, two, three, two layers of this, and two layers, five layers of fabric there, and it can be very, very thick. So for my next one, and what I'm doing here, you might notice, hopefully you can see, I'm sure you can, because I'm looking in the viewer, there's little stab stitches here already secure in this so I'm doing a bullion loop in between those stab stitches so coming up from the back right through all the layers that's A and going down at B the same distance apart as the last one but not going through all the layers and um, just this top layer leave the needle in put your thumb under the work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, I can count to thirty-five. You heard me do that in the last on the last knot, but I just find it easier. 
than saying 28, 29, to be saying 8, 9, you know what I mean? And then pull that through. Now it's a bit, that's it. Sometimes it can be a bit hard to get that first bit pulled through. Then you put, I'm pushing them all down this working thread as I do that. Put it in, B again, pull it to the back and then that is that secured to that piece of work coming out of the back there. Okay, so that's how I do my loopy bullion knots. And I expect you all to do a dozen of them before tea time. Yeah, can you see them there? Yeah. Bullion knots, no, bullion loops actually. 